Season 1 left us with so many unanswered questions. Omni-Man left in the last season and he was nowhere to be found, but where is he now? Well, he appears at the beginning of episode 1. Omni-Man helps his son in fighting the immortal. Yes, the same immortal who was split in half by Omni-Man in season 1. That immortal is back! And this time around, Omni-Man chops the immortal's head off and his son Invincible shatters that head. Yeah, immortal your way out of that. Now you must be thinking they are both on the same side. And yes, they are. But who will save the people now? What'll happen next? Well, Omni-Man and Invincible want to take over Earth and make it part of the Viltrum Empire. In the process, they have already killed millions of people, and Invincible also snaps Adam Eve's neck, and now she is paralyzed. <laughs> Invincible seems unbothered about that, but between this madness, a man confronts them and curses them. Justice will come for you. Now, as soon as they move forward to kill him, he vanishes into a portal. More about this portal and this man later in the video. Now all of this madness is unfolding and there seems to be zero hope for the people of Earth. But here's the catch though, all of this is happening in an alternate dimension that's not our Earth. Coming to our Earth here, Mark Grayson is still recovering from the revelation of his father's true nature and he is confused about his sudden departure to outer space. Mark is trying to pick up the pieces of his life and prove that he is a true hero, that he is nothing like his evil father, and he saves countless lives throughout the recovering city. But we can see him struggling emotionally. He wants to be a part of a superhero team, but Cecil does not think that it's the right time. You need to start calling on me again. Hey, hold on. Now while all of this is unfolding, there is something else going on too. You must remember Maulers, the Mauler twins, genius mad scientist duo who are always working on fringe science experiments and who keep calling each other clones. Yeah, yeah, they... So they're in jail now and a portal suddenly opens. I shit portals now. Didn't I mention that? And they go into that portal and there they meet Angstrom Levy. Now there are two things you need to know about Levy. One... Look, I'm a pacifist. I don't hurt people. I don't kill people. And second, he can open portals to other dimensions, but not to the same dimension. Which is cool, but then why did he free the Maulers? I need your help with a very specific problem. Now, Levy has a somatic encoder of the Maulers which can read, copy, and write human minds. But he can't get it working, and that's where he needs the help of Maulers to fix that. Now... What does he need it for? Well, you need to understand a theory before we can answer that. As you know, Angstrom can access other dimensions. Now, in each dimension, there is some unique knowledge that other dimensions are not aware of. And also, in each dimension, there are other Angstrom levies, and this levy has collected all those levies here together. Pretty interesting. Meet the family. I did not see that coming. And what this Angstrom is trying to do is collect all the information from all dimensions through the other levies that he has. And that's why he had a room full of levies. It's very confusing. But anyways, he needs the somatic encoder to read the minds of his alternate selves and, and then combine all the information that they have and store all their information in his head. He's doing so because he wants to help save billions of lives by using that knowledge. I can save billions upon trillions of lives. Now, does he become successful in his effort? Well, you'll need to wait a little bit to know that. But let's now talk about the Guardians first. Because how can you forget your favorite team between all of this? You can't. I'm the Giant, and I want to be President of America and an astronaut! I mean, well, I mean, he looks not so giant in his head after all. But anyway, somehow they find a way to stop the Giant, but it will cost. Cecil lectures the Guardians to do better work next time. Now we've done an analysis of your last 15 engagements and narrowed it down to a failure of leadership. Now Cecil removes the robot as the leader of the Guardian. And guess who he introduced as new team leader? Immortal! Yeah, that guy again, he just doesn't die, doesn't he? Anyways, along with Immortal, there comes another guy, Bulletproof. What do you do? I mean, other than have the most obvious name ever. Bulletproof? <laughs> Good old Rex being Rex, coming back to the master plan of Levy. You remember, Invincible was longing to get in, and Cecil was looking for the right time to bring him in. Well, he finds the right time, and guess what his right time is? Interrupting the plan of Levy. So Invincible gets into place where Levy's plan is in progress, and he thinks that something evil is going on, and he tries to stop it. Hey, shut it down, or I take it down. Despite Levy trying to explain what's happening. Wait! Invincible! You don't understand! But our superhero doesn't wait. He gets in a fight with the Maulers, and Levy opens multiple portals and brings in Maulers from other dimensions to stop Invincible. And our favorite superhero gets mauled again. 
Levy just wanted to stop him, but instead Maulers are about to kill him. To make sure it does not happen again, Levy has no other option but to stop the process. I won't build my utopia with blood. And he proceeds to remove that helmet from his head. There's only one problem though, if he removes his helmet, everybody is doomed. Stop! There's too much power! He'll kill us all! What does he do? He removes the helmet and the whole place turns to dust. And then Invincible is recruited by Cecil's team and everyone is dead other than Mauler who is completely destroyed. And guess what happens to Levy? And the alternate dimension who cursed Omni-Man and Invincible and then disappeared into a portal? Well, now this Levy is all that's left and he doesn't look good. Now all he can remember is what happened in his dimension and now he wants to destroy the Invincible of this Earth because he thinks that he's the bad one. I need to make him pay! So after all that, it was not the right time to get Invincible in, Cecil. Episode 1 ends here and we are left with a couple of questions you might have ignored. Do you remember Donald was killed in Season 1? It's been an honor, sir. So how is he back in Season 2? And what is going to happen with Levy next? And what powers does he possess now after that incident? Most important of all, where is Nolan aka the Omni-Man? Well, the only way to find out is to wait for our next video, where we can walk you through the recap of Episode 2. Thanks for watching everyone, see you next time.